Hey all, it's Matt here from Star Factory, the go-to site for digital marketing and SEO advice. In this Moz review, I'm going to highlight the key reasons you might want to use this popular SEO tool, and the key things to watch out for. Ok, here are my key reasons to use Moz. 1. It has a bigger backlink database than its key competitors. How well a site performs in search results depends heavily on how many backlinks, external sites linking to it, exist for the site in question. Generally speaking, the more high quality backlinks that point to your content, the better it will perform in search results. That's why SEO tools like Moz give you data on who is linking to your website, and those of your competitors. You can use this to monitor your own site's performance, or approach websites that link to your competitors for backlinks. And the good news is that Moz's backlink database is considerably larger than those of rival SEO tools. It contains nearly 46 trillion links, that's 11 trillion more than Ahrefs, and 3 trillion more than SEMrush. 2. It provides you with brand authority metrics. For many years, Google ranked content primarily on its quality, and the number of high quality links pointing to it. And while these factors remain important, recent algorithm updates seem to indicate that Google is also placing a high emphasis on how well known a site's brand is when ranking content. Helpfully, Moz gives you a brand authority score for the domains you're inspecting, and is currently unique among the major SEO tools in doing so. This extra context can be really useful in working out why competitors with similar quality content and link profiles might still be outranking you. 3. It gives you very affordable API access. An application programming interface, more usually referred to as an API, lets you pass data between different software and systems, and SEO tools usually charge a lot of money to let you use them. Moz offers a much more affordable API than its key competitors, however. Its API plans start at just $5 per month. By contrast, key rivals like Ahrefs and SEMrush only permit API access on their most expensive plans. So if you need to incorporate SEO data into a third-party app or system, Moz is a potentially great option. 4. It's more generous than rivals when it comes to user accounts. If teamwork is important to you, or you need an SEO tool that lets multiple users access it simultaneously, Moz is well worth considering. For a start, some of its plans give you multi-user access out of the box. This is not the case with key rivals Ahrefs and SEMrush, which limit you to one user on all their non-enterprise plans. Additionally, the additional user fees remain the same with Moz, irrespective of plan. Competing tools often increase user costs significantly as you go up their pricing ladders. 5. It gives you on-demand site audits. During a site audit, SEO tools identify technical SEO or on-page SEO issues that might be having a negative effect on your search rankings. These include slow loading content, duplicate content, SSL issues, crawl errors, missing headers, overuse of keywords, broken links, and more. While its key competitors only let you perform site audits on tracked sites, a limited number of which are available per plan, Moz lets you perform several additional on-demand audits that give you scope to analyze more sites each month. These can be used on sites containing up to 3,000 pages. 6. It gives you a really long free trial. SEO tools are more expensive than a lot of other business apps, so it's really important to try them out properly before committing to them. And Moz gives you a really generous free trial to help you do just that. Its trial lasts 30 days, which is much longer than those offered by its key competitors. For context, SEMrush's standard trial is only 7 days long, and Ahrefs doesn't really give you a trial at all. You'll find a link to Moz's 30-day trial in the video description, along with several other key Style Factory SEO resources. Ok, so those are the key reasons why you might want to use Moz. But what aspects of the app should give you pause for thought? I'll come to those in just a moment, but before I do, I want to invite you to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notifications bell. This helps us out and gives you easy access to all our SEO resources going forward. Now, let's look at the key reasons you might want to avoid Moz. 1. Moz's keyword database is on the small side. Moz's keyword database is considerably smaller than those of competing products. It contains 1.25 billion keywords, far less than the 28.7 billion you'll find in the Ahrefs database, or the 26.1 billion you'll find in SEMrush's. 
As you might expect, and this was backed up by our product tests too, this generally translates into fewer keyword suggestions being surfaced by Moz than its rivals. 2. It doesn't give you any traffic estimates. Unlike competing SEO tools, Moz doesn't give you any traffic estimates for the domains you're inspecting. This makes it harder to get a true sense of how successful a competing domain is, or whether it's worth approaching a particular site for a backlink or content collaboration. The best you can do with Moz on this front is connect Google Analytics to your Moz account. But this isn't much use if you're trying to analyze your competitors' domains, because you won't have access to their analytics accounts. 3. The reporting limits aren't as generous as they could be. By comparison to its rivals, Moz's reporting limits aren't particularly generous. For example, Ahrefs gives you unlimited reporting on its key plans, and SEMrush lets you pull thousands of reports per day. This lack of generosity is particularly pronounced when it comes to Moz's keyword research reporting. On its $99 per month standard plan, for example, you can only make use of 150 keyword queries per month. For a slightly higher fee, SEMrush lets you make tens of thousands of queries each month, and Ahrefs doesn't apply a limit at all. 4. The support options are basic. Given that SEO tools can come with a relatively steep learning curve, the availability of customer support for them can be an important consideration. And the customer service options available from Moz are on the basic side. You can only contact the company via email. Unlike some competing products, no live chat or phone support is available for the platform. Additionally, support is English only and is not available 24-7. 5. It doesn't give you any content marketing tools. Rival SEO platforms are increasingly adding content marketing tools to their feature set. These can help you identify topics to focus on, analyze your existing content from an SEO perspective, or even, thanks to generative AI, create entirely new content altogether. Moz is a bit behind the pack here. It is yet to introduce any similar features, with its focus remaining more on traditional SEO tools only. And that's it, our take on the key pros and cons of Moz. A quick reminder that if you're interested in using the product, you'll find a link to a special 30-day trial in the video description. There's a lot more to learn about Moz, however. If you'd like an even deeper dive into its features, just Google Style Factory Moz Review. This will take you to our in-depth blog post about the platform on the Style Factory website. Before you go, we'd love you to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notifications bell. This will give you easy access to all our SEO content going forward. And finally, if you have any questions at all about this Moz review, do leave them in the comments. We read them all and we'll do our best to help.